this video actually we are trying to understand COX-2 inhibitors only. In this we have seen already preferential COX-2 inhibitor diclofenac. Now diclofenac uh, basically it has potent anti-inflammatory effect. So basically diclofenac it has a potent anti-inflammatory effect because it is COX-2 inhibitor right and it will get concentrated in synovial joints hence you can use it for treating joint pain any arthritis, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, or osteoarthritis, etc. The thing here is it causes hepatotoxicity more and you will combine it with misoprostol so that you can reduce peptic ulcers. Now look at um, the highly selective COX-2 inhibitors. Highly selective COX-2 inhibitors, you have uh, etorecoxib. Say eto, eto, re, re, coxib. Coxib, Coxib. This is a highly selective COX-2 inhibitor. Similarly, you have other um, uh, highly selective COX-2 inhibitors like you have Celicoxib. Yes, Celicoxib. And uh, you have uh, para, pa, uh, par, par e coxib Okay. Paricoxib. Yes, so you have paricoxib. So, uh, what you have to know is paricoxib is given uh, par enterally, par par, paricoxib, and you have etorecoxib and celicoxib being given orally. Now, uh, what is the benefit of these? These are gastric friendly, obviously, right? They are gastric friendly because they don't have COX 1 inhibition. So, they are going to keep your stomach happy, but they are toxic to kidney, heart and even hepatic toxicity you have seen in diclofenac okay so now let us go to um, uh, what we see what we have seen here is cox2 selective inhibitors they are toxic to kidney and heart kidney what happens cox2 is inhibited so there is sodium and water retention and it can lead to edema this is what kidney you have to see edema heart. yes heart what happens um, so when prostacycline is affected the blood is not able to flow so you can have increased risk of cardiovascular events fine so look at the differences between uh, non-selective cox and selective cox you can mention a lot of examples and all that basically selective cox will have less gi side effects less ulcerogenic effect 